Hey, this is you with the video on how to make, save, and lose money while playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I was originally going to make this a 15 minute or so long video, but instead I'm going to part it out into, you know, maybe two or three videos, just because I don't want to, like, rush one subject and, you know, cover one subject too much. So, for the first one for this week, it's going to be, in my opinion, the way that you lose the most money on Yu-Gi-Oh! for the most players. And that's pretty much impulse buying. And it's for anything, you know, singles, tins, sleeves, packs, I don't know, everything. So as you play Yu-Gi-Oh, and for the most part, if you do play Yu-Gi-Oh, you will like opening packs, getting tins, getting boxes. I mean, it's just a part of Yu-Gi-Oh. Everyone, every other person you know, who plays it wants to, you know, do that. But say you go to, like, your local card store, locals, shopping mall, whatever that sells Yu-Gi-Oh. And you go there, you see a tin or two, and you think about it, like, you want that tin because, you know, it's something, it's not that old, it's the recent ones. But even with the promos, you know, because nowadays promos are like, what, 6 to $10, you know, total, out of the tin's value. But even with those, that tin with tax is going to be, what, 11 50 to, what, 13 50 somewhere around there, even with those promos. And then, you know, you still buy because you want to, you go home, you open it, and for the most part, you are going to pull total crap. Honestly, to be bluntly honest, you're not going to pull good from one tin. And next time around, you might have think, thought that you might only bought one tin, and you buy two tins, and the same thing happens all over. I'm not saying that you can't pull good, but if you buy 10 tins, odds are maybe 3 will be good and the rest will be crap. That's just the odds. So again, like, say, I don't know, you want some card. You want, like, I don't know, a tour guide from Extreme Victory, and you go and buy 10 single booster packs. And a lot of people do that, even I've done that, but you do that, you might get a Tengu, you might get, I don't know, there's nothing else good in Extreme Victory, that's the problem. So, overall, again, you're going to lose money on that. And I'm not saying buy a tour guide because, what are they, like 150 plus now? They're going up again because, what is it, Order of Chaos? So, you know, you, you could try to trade for it, but buying a card for damn much is just, you know, a little bullshit. Unless you get it. So, overall, like, sometimes it's better not to just, you know, just get past it. I know you're gonna feel like shit when you, you know, not buy it. I've had that feeling. Like, I went to Walmart, I saw a tin. I knew I could've bought it, but I decided not to because I sort of guessed that, you know, it was gonna be a waste of money. And if you really do want to buy packs or stuff, the best place to buy those is pretty much online if you can. Because online, sometimes like, you know, eBay or Troll and Toad, they're gonna have some some auctions on eBay are going to be a lot cheaper than everywhere else. And sometimes on Troll and Toad, you can get, like, coupons or discounts. Um, like, on, like, two years ago, it was a while ago, of course, but I bought tins for, like, seven ninety nine, and that was with free shipping because it was nearly Christmas or New Year's. It was either one, Christmas or New Year. So if you just, you know, wait a little, sometimes you might have to wait a while, but most times online is going to be cheaper no matter where you live. So, the end of the story, I mean, if you really want to buy packs, take a chance, you know, buy it online. It might take a while, but it's going to be a lot cheaper. If you want a card, if it's cheap, buy it, but if it's expensive, just try to trade for it. Don't buy the packs to, you know, try to pull the card. That's just, you know, just, just blowing money most times. So, thanks for watching. Um, next week, I'm going to cover, I guess, binders. That'll be my next subject, so, yeah.